Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love's Data, and in this video you'll learn how to report and analyze scroll depth inside Google Analytics. We'll look at how we can use the standard reports, how we can create a custom report, and how we can use segments to analyze scroll depth. Before you can use these reports, you'll need to start by tracking scroll depth into Google Analytics. If you're not already tracking scroll depth, then you can watch my tutorial. You can find a link to my tutorial in the description below this video. Once you're tracking scroll depth, come back to this video and I'll show you how to use the reports. If you are already using scroll depth tracking, then you're in the right place. Let's head to Google Analytics and get started. I'm in one of my demo accounts and I sent a small amount of data into Google Analytics. Let's start by looking at the standard reports. When I configured scroll depth tracking inside Google Tag Manager, I configured the Google Analytics tag to send the data as a Google Analytics event. So we can find scroll depth reports in the events reports. To find the reports, we select behavior, then events, and top events. We can then see the different events we're tracking into Google Analytics. So let's select scroll. And here I can see the different percentages for our scroll depth tracking. We can see people scrolling 25%, 50, 75, and 100% of our content. Now we can select a particular percentage to see the pages where people scrolled. Let's select 100%. We're not seeing the individual pages, so let's select Other, and then search for and select Page. Now I can see the different pages on my website where people have scrolled all the way to the bottom of the page. We can also look at our scroll depth data from a different perspective. We can select a page to then see how people are scrolling that page. To do this, we select Pages under Events. We then select the page we're interested in, for example, the home page. We can then see the different events that are being tracked on this page. Let's select Scroll. And now we can see the scroll depth tracking for the individual page we've selected. So we can make use of the standard reports to understand how people are scrolling our content. Another option we have is to create a custom report. This will make it quicker and easier to see how people are engaging with our content. So let's select Customization and select Custom Reports. Let's create a new custom report. I'm going to name my report and I'm going to create three tabs in the report. I want to see scroll depth by pages, scroll depth by percentages, and then a combination of both. For the first tab, I'm going to name it pages and I'm going to add the metric. Since we're using events for scroll depth tracking, I'm going to select unique events as the metric. So this will only count someone scrolling a page once, even if they scroll up and down the page multiple times. Next, I need to select my dimensions. I'm going to select Page. And then I'm going to select Event Action as the drill down. As we saw in the standard reports, we were tracking different types of events into Google Analytics. So we'll need to add a filter so that we're only including scroll depth in our custom report. So let's add a filter. And we're going to add a filter for the event category. And now I'm going to enter scroll, and then I'm going to include one additional filter just to make sure we're only including scroll depth. I'm going to add event action, matches, regular expression, and I'm going to add a regular expression which will only include 25, 50, 75, and 100 for our scroll depth tracking. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this tab. And I'm going to call this new tab percentages. Then I'm going to switch the dimensions. So I'm going to move event action above page. So this will show me my percentages and I can then drill down to see the pages. Finally, I'm going to add one more tab which will combine pages and percentages. I'm going to select flat table 
and I'm going to add in two dimensions, page and event action. Now for the metric, I'm again going to add unique events and we can save our custom report. Across the top of the report, we have the different tabs we've configured. We can view scroll depth by pages, percentages, or a combination of both. I can see the pages on my test website and I can select any of these pages to then see the scroll depths for the particular page. Now let's navigate back and I can select percentages. So this time, rather than viewing scroll depth by page, I can see scroll depth by percentage. I can select a percentage and I can then see the pages. And finally, let's navigate back again and I'm going to select pages and percentages, which gives us a combination of both the page as well as scroll depth. To begin using the report, I recommend starting with the percentages tab to understand your most engaging content based on scroll depth. I also want to highlight that you can tweak this report further. For example, you might want to only focus on pages where people scroll at least 75% of the content. To do this, let's click edit. And then we just need to modify the filter. So we would remove 25 and 50. And we've been looking at scroll depth based on pages, but you can also change the dimension you're using for the report too. For example, you might want to understand scroll depth by campaign or even your paid keywords. To do this, just select the pages dimension and change it. Let's select campaign. You'll then be able to report on scroll depth by campaign. Try experimenting with the different dimensions to make the report your own. And don't forget to rename the tabs and the report to reflect the changes you've made. Now that we've looked at how we can use a custom report, I also want to show you how you can use segments to understand scroll depth. So let's head to the audience reports and select overview. Now let's create a new segment. I'm going to select conditions and search for and select event action. Now we can set the minimum scroll depth we want to analyze. Let's enter 50. This will only include people who've scrolled at least 50% of a page on our website. We can then name the segment and apply it to our reports. Now that the segment is applied, we can travel through the reports. For example, we can view the audience, acquisition, or even conversion reports, and the segment will continue to be applied. This is a great way to make use of scroll depth tracking. So that's how you can analyze the performance of scroll depth inside Google Analytics. Remember, you can use the events reports under behavior, you can create custom reports, and you can even create your own segments to analyze performance. You can add my custom report template to your own account and customize it further. You can find a link in the description below this video. Start by identifying your content that has the highest engagement based on scroll depth and use these insights to inform the other pages and content on your website. Aim to replicate what works best for your audience. How are you using scroll depth tracking in Google Analytics? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, then please like it so I know to make more videos like this one. See you next time.